just keep on winning each and every week. You know, Jim, and I don't see much changing. Everything is in rhythm. It's working. The offense is hot. The defense is hot. And then when they get in a tough situation, it seems like the coach, he designs a play that works, that works on defense or offense. They're going to be tough here again today. First down at the 20. And here's the toss. And they're really setting the tone here early with the big running play that time. They took advantage, Jim, of a defense that's out of position. Nice job by the running back taking advantage of it, and he picks up big yards. The Vikings with two extra defensive backs in the dime. He's scrambling now. Incomplete. And with that, let's take a look at the Black Knights offense, starting with the offensive line. This is an offense that has one of the most dangerous passing attacks in the NFL this season. Gurley's taking the handoff. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. The Black Knights have a third down coming up. They did a great job a week ago of converting on third down. The Black Knights will take the snap from the 40. Smith's there to make the tackle. Breaking huddle at the 30-yard line. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Gets it out for the completion. That short pass play picked up six. It's now second down and four. Out of the gun. Kevin White falls it in. What a way to start the game. First possession touchdown. And they've got a lead for themselves midway through the first thanks to that touchdown. Yeah, it was a good drive that time. It had a little bit of everything in it, and it just gives you tremendous confidence as here we are halfway through the first quarter. Now you put the pressure on the other team. And the point after is good. The Vikings are ready to return the kickoff. Makes the catch at the seven. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. First down at the 25. Able to take the football out to the 28-yard line. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stop him for a short game. The Black Knights defense now is going to go nickel. Midway through the first. Johnson with the grab. Johnson's one of the best route runners in the NFL. And he showed it that time on the quick slant. The football is right on target. Nice solid game. Just short of the first down. Third and one. Throws the pass. And Cruz is got it on a pass that had some heat. Tackles made. 
Oh, beautiful throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. The receiver thinks, hey, it's going to be a touchdown. Look at the hustle by the defense. They tackling just short of the goal line. Hey, now that's, that is a huge play. Now the defense has one more chance to stop this offense. First and goal, and he'll hand it off to the fullback. The line of scrimmage, the two-yard line. Second and goal from the two. Makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. And that touchdown, Phil, here late in the first, ties the game. Yeah, it ties it up, and it gets them out of a little hole, and, of course, it gives the offense a lot of... A lot of confidence. And on the defensive side, they have struggled early, but maybe they can start to pick things up. The Vikings now getting ready to kick it away. And a touchback here will bring the ball out to the 20. The Black Knights offense taking the field again. They got everything they could out of that last possession, Phil. A solid touchdown drive. Yeah, what a productive day so far for the offense. They've mixed it up well. They got confidence. The quarterback's throwing it well. This is a, a very good game so far. The Vikings with a nickel look here on defense. First down at the 31. For the deep ball. One handed. Makes the grab. All the way home and all alone. Touchdown. They take the lead here late in the first quarter with the touchdown. Yeah, nothing like it. Before that first quarter was up, they found a way to get in the end zone and get that score to take the lead. And hey, that's a good feeling. The Vikings are ready to return the kickoff. They're setting up the return. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Vikings offense coming back onto the field after a touchdown drive the last time they had it. And they certainly attacked that secondary and got there via the pass. Well, Jim, let me ask you this. How would you like to be the defensive coordinator right now? Because you're over there. You don't know what's going to happen. No matter what you call, you feel like, hey, the quarterback's hot. He's probably going to beat what we're trying to do. Game's five. Here's the Vikings' offensive lineup. They've done a great job of converting on third down this season. And here we have second down. This should be the last play of the quarter the give and he's taken down but not until he picks up the first and the second quarter is underway with this snap picks up eight here the Vikings coaching staff, they have been smart today. They are keeping everybody off balance, even me. I thought for sure they would run the football, but no, they come out on first down, they throw it, they pick up solid yards. Good job by them. Griffin's five for five after that completion. It's going to be a false start call on the offense. The Black Knights defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. The Vikings snap it at the 41. Decker can't bring it in. That'll probably go as a drop. Decker's going to go back to the huddle and look at all his teammates and go, my bad. Well, they know it's your bad. Everybody, even the offensive linemen, they saw you were open and you dropped the pass that was right to you. But, hey, that's the way it goes. You know, you got to keep the confidence up. I think he will. And I'm sure the football will find its way towards him again soon. All set to punt here.
wants to give it a go here. He's tackled right at the 24. And a run back of about seven. The Black Knights on a quest for their third straight scoring drive here, Phil. They've been having their way with that defense on these last few possessions. Well, let me say this, Jim. It's not that easy to score points in the NFL. Not the way they're making it look. And they're confident. They're, they look like they're fast. They're fresh. They're rested. It's been fun to watch. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. He'll take the snap from the gun. Has his target. And Phil, you look at this offense right now. They've got a quarterback who's moving the football through the air, and that's a big reason why they're leading this game. And th and that's right. That's why they're leading the game. Boy, I'd hate to be a defensive back out there today. The wide receivers are good. The quarterback is hot. They've got awesome rhythm, and that's why they're playing so well. It's caught by Kevin White. That's reception number two for him. Can you believe how steady and reliable this guy is? He is. He is. Is it? What's the phrase for him? He is money, Jim Nance. Man, he pays off every single time. You throw the football near him, he'll make the catch. The Black Knights will take the snap from the 45. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. You're running back in this league and you pick up first downs. If you don't fumble the football, I promise you one thing, you're going to get more carries. Two tight ends on the field here. First down and 10. Larry Donnell has the catch. Here's the football marked at the 47. Get ready. Second down and five. And it's knocked down. That time, the man-to-man -man coverage won. The quarterback had to make a perfect throw. He didn't. Incomplete pass. It'll be third down. scrimmage the 32 yard line two minute warning looms and this may be the last play before it hits Curley's gonna secure the handoff halftime is coming up but first we reach the two minute warning this will be the eighth play of this drive the Black Knights with an empty backfield look here from the shotgun Kevin White with the catch they bring him to the turf. Jim, they got momentum on their side right now. They are making everything work. That was a nice play. They pick up another first down, and they got a good drive going here. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Takes it across, and he's in for the touchdown. We're approaching halftime, and with that touchdown, they have a little extra breathing room before the break. Oh, man, they're inhaling big time, and they love the way they feel right now where they're at in this football game on the defensive side. Listen, you got some information. You saw what they're doing on the other side, so make some adjustments and find a way to get back in and, and get a way to win this game. No return here as he takes a knee in the end zone. Griffin's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Rudolph's got it on a pass, had some heat on it. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Griffin in the shotgun formation. Charles Johnson with the catch. Johnson's marked down after a gain of four. Good job by the offense here. Hustle up, get that football snap, conserve time, and most of all, conserve that time. Intercepted. Equal 
Well, he's such an impressive athlete. We know he can tackle and stop the run game, but how about that in the pass game? Defending the pass and picking it off. Good job. The Black Knights offense coming back onto the field. It was a good drive for them last time they had it. All the way down to the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, you know, this game, Jim, it's all about momentum. I mean, you feel you got the momentum on your side. You got to take advantage of it. So now I think it's up to the offensive coordinator to call the right play. Second down after the incompletion. The Vikings will come out in the dime. Snap it out of the gun. Looking long. Got a flag. I'll say this. In a situation like this, third long, and you're winning here, if you throw the football, fire the coach. And I'm just saying that because I don't think there's any chance they're going to throw the football in this situation. First down at the 24. Beckham is there to catch a ball that had a lot of heat on it. Getting close to the half, and they're giving their opponents a lot to talk about in the locker room. Yeah, they are putting some kind of whipping on them here early in the game. I'll just say this for the defensive side that's losing. It's been terrible. So go in there at halftime, change what you're doing, and get back in this game. to the 20 mark him down at the 19 the Vikings are set to take the field again on offense after a crazy sequence that didn't go their way that turnover led to turnover points and now let's see if the offense can get that back Phil yeah listen I know they're going to be motivated because after they turned the football over last time the coaches took them to the sideline and just gave them heck that's for sure that's a good way of seeing it so motivation can't make those kind of mistakes you got to go out there and be much better second down and nine Handoff by Griffin. And Keekley in on the tackle. And that will close out the first half from the Twin Cities. We'll step away for halftime and be back to Minneapolis in just a moment for the beginning of the third quarter. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. The Vikings talk things over at the intermission, and I'm sure one of the first orders of business was to try to figure out a way to get this offense going, Phil. Absolutely. That's what you want to do, and I think you do that by play call. So the coach, they have many plays that we call drive starters. Catch the defense by surprise. They need to call one of those right here and right now to get this offense going. Griffin's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. The ball is out. This one's going back the other way. They come out of the locker room at halftime still lollygagging and coughing up the football to open up the third quarter. Are you trying to tell me we got a bunch of lollygaggers down there? We might. I'll tell you, their play has been so uninspired and so bad that it's hard to watch. We'll go ground. Hurley's tackled down at the 17. This is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times, and we saw it that time, and they stopped the play for a short game. Second down and six. Tosses the football. Met by Barr that time. You got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the front that time, and they only give up a short game. Third down on the way. The Vikings lined up in the nickel. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. Almost intercepted that time. Good job that time by the defensive player. He reads the quarterback, gets in position, down near his own end zone, knocks that pass down. The kick is good. And they're on the board just moments into the second half with the field goal. And I'm sure that's the kind of start they had in mind. Well, sure it was. Good job by the offense. But I'm looking at the defense. My gosh. What did you guys do at halftime? Just sit around and sip some hot cocoa? The Vikings offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim. But you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there. Be aggressive and see if you can score some points. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. They need to get the playoff. Griffin's going to take it from the gun. 
Johnson with the grab. Trufant's in on the tackle. Good job that time by the quarterback. Looks down the field. Nobody open, so he throws the drag route. Coming across the field, and it's a nice catch. Just short of the first down. Griffin's completion percentage, 70% on the day. The Vikings will take the snap from the 30. Another third down conversion. The offense continues to come through in the clutch. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right, read the blocking, and pick up first downs. That's a really good job by the running back. He'll throw it over the middle, and Cruz comes up with the catch. Coming to the line at the 48. They better hurry to get the snap. And off, out of the eye. from the gun. Breaks free. That's a gain of 10. The final 30 seconds of the third quarter, and it's a first down. The Black Knights out now in a 4-6 formation. First down at the 38. Looking across the middle. Decker is tackled down. The Vikings offense tries to continue some momentum, still possessing the football as the final quarter gets underway. It's a two tight end formation. Final quarter underway now with this snap. They'll mark him at the 28. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they move it in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. Play clock's running down. He'll get it again. Brought down at the 26. He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. The Vikings approach the line, and they're going with their jumbo package. Throws the pass over the middle and incomplete that time. When you're going against a good quarterback and receiver in the NFL now, one of the ways to stop it is tight man-to-man -man coverage. You against him. The Black Knights go with the dime formation here on defense. And it's complete over to Cruz. Offense heading to the line for the 11th play of the drive. Now first and ten. They run the counter play. This long drive continues. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. The catch is made by Decker. Third down now. The play clock's running down. Look at that top touchdown. And they cut into that lead. You spend so much time in this league. Once you get in the red zone on the offensive side, all these different plays, knowing you must be efficient, you need to score touchdowns instead of kicking field goals. Well, you can feel good now because you've got it in there. Catches the ball on the sideline, but does not get both feet down. The Vikings getting ready to kick it off. And a touchback. The Black Knights step back onto the field on offense. Their last possession resulted in a field goal. Well, I know this. It was good defense on the other side. That's what made them kick that field goal. So the defense is feeling good about the fact that they stopped that momentum by the offense and made them kick that field goal.
That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Last play before the two-minute warning. Let's go. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Gurley has the good catch as the first down. Now looking for more. Just two minutes left in this one now. Back in a moment. Ball at the 47. This play set up by the long gainer. Gurley's got it on the handoff. The Black Knights get a first down. I think the coach on the sidelines, he's going to be happy with every first down because he knows that's more time off the clock. When you're up like this, multiple scores in the second half, every first down just puts the odds in your favor of winning this game. Get ready. The Black Knights will take the snap from the 35. Griffin's the one who made the big stop. Well, you know you can win the game, but just running the football, then you just run the football. Take no chances. Keep two hands around it at all times, and don't worry about the extra yard. Coming to the line at the 36-yard line. Get ready. Takes it from the gun. Down the field. The touchdown as we near the end of this one. What a job by the offense. So little time left. The drive down the field and score, that just ices the game. Nice job by the whole football team today, but especially on the offensive side. The Black Knights lined up now for the point after. He made it. The Vikings are ready to return the kickoff. And he'll start his return. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. The Vikings offense comes onto the field for a last play or two before this one's over. There's nothing they can do now to pull this one out, Phil. Yeah, listen, it's very tough to even get the courage or the energy to finish this game off in a situation like this because it's so disappointing. And I say to them, don't take any chances. Don't get hit again and just get off the field. Another win here today, and we're starting to think maybe we could talk undefeated season. I know it sounds crazy. Yeah, well, it is crazy, and the pressure truly does build uh, against undefeated teams. But that is a pressure that you like, and I say it to you all the time. Athletes love it when you look at them. Well, we're going to look at them now. Let's see if they can go undefeated.